Good morning. Welcome to Build Day 15. And Katie and I just got done parking the truck and getting the blow-ups plugged in. Uh, today, we are going to be jumping all over the place in the haunt. We still got to skin the clown area, which is definitely on the dock of today. One of the first things that we're going to be doing to get this finished. Uh, I also need to get gates in for the uh, clown hallway and the witch area, which also needs a sweep. I'm going to have to have Morgan out here. That corn I put in last night made a hell of a mess. And yeah, Daddy's coming. She's not too sure about the corn, are ya? Huh. This is about as far as I've been in it since we put it in. I haven't walked the whole thing since the, uh, I gave you that last video shot of it. But, uh, I've got a three-foot fence there, a three-foot fence here, and a fence that runs down that way. I gotta get in here, and I probably ought to do that before we go and, uh, skin the clown panel, because I have a feeling I'm going to have to take this wall panel out in order to get the big fence panel in. But, uh, fencing and clown hallway... Skinning. I gotta get the pond in for the hammering clown. You know, the, those are the priority things that have to get done at some point today. Doesn't mean I'm gonna drop everything and do it all right now, which I probably should. But, <laughs> but our main emphasis today is going to be out here. My storage. Dump is a disaster area. I got stuff strewn all over the place. And we gotta get it cleaned up. Uh, I've got my horror panel back there, the secret door for the front porch. That needs to go out. I got the two tall two tall pillars and their boxes are around the corner, I do believe. And the exit arch for the mausoleum need to go out and get put in. I got the cage for the jack in the box needs to go out and get put together. So I can get the mech out there and put together. Uh, parts for the dragon need to get taken out and put, in, put into their place. Not put together, but put into their place. We've got the inside of the storage shed. Still has stuff in it. And I'm going to need more of my foam pillars for the fencing. And at this point, I have to take everything out of the shed and get it out in the haunt so I can get to those pillars. Ugh. So, uh, we're going to be carting around a lot of stuff today, and uh, you'll get some different glimpses here and there of what we've got going on. Uh, but like I said, it's going to be a hodgepodge. We're going to be all over the place. Kaylee will be in the vlog off and on all day. I'll have uh, Sue Ann and Morgan out here as well, lending a hand with hauling and what have you. But, uh, supposed to be another cold one. Uh, about 40 degrees now. Uh, they're saying it's supposed to get up to like 46, 47 for the high today. So, it could be interesting. You could see me all blue and frozen up by the end of the day. I don't know. We'll find out. Ah, well, it's been a productive morning so far. We got the fence panels out that I need for the witch's display, but I need my foam pillars out here to put them in. Haven't gotten that far. And clown hallway is officially skinned. So all partitioning, bracing, and skinning for the 2019 season is officially done. So the maze, I'm going to say 98% done. And I got to get, you know, the last of the fencing in and stuff. But, hey, better than nothing. Now I have some leftover skins there. Some one foots there. I need to get put away. And I think we're going to hop over, before I do any more fencing, i got some bigger props. I've got the uh, secret door panel I need to get in here. We've got the uh, exit arch for the mausoleum. I think we're going to start working on that stuff, get some of the bigger items in here, maybe get that shed totally emptied out. Then I'll come back in here. i got to get the pond in for the hammer and clown that goes in there where the stepladder is. And it's fencing up. And uh, I gotta get the jack-in-the-box cage in here and get it put together and 
So we're going to start working on that and see where we can get in the rain. It is sprinkling and it's cold. All right, more progress made. We got the, uh, here, get back up so you can see it a little bit better. Exit arch into place, ready to go. I just got to get hooked up to air and power. <coughs> I also brought out the panel that goes here and we'll put that on closer to Halloween. That way we're not having to fuck with it for a whole month. And then the uh, other thing I just got done assembling is the jack in the box. Guys, platform put together, three sides of the cage. Fourth side, we're leading off, leaving off until Sue Ann can get in here and get costuming and stuff done, which won't be for a couple of weeks yet. Now, I also got to get pneumatics and power and its control box and stuff in on it. Other than that, we've had some uh, smaller stuff taken out to the haunt. Uh, the base and barrel for the dragon is over in its spot. And then we got the fountain and all the piping for the water wall over there. We're getting ready to start emptying out the shed so I can get more of those foam pillars out. Because right now they're buried. And when we bring the stuff out, we're just going to take it out, put it in, set it in its display. And I'll go through when I'm setting up displays, get everything into place. You know, so right now we're, uh, right now I gotta go through, and all the pins I gotta put up, I gotta take off one panel for each display, so we can get in there to set stuff. So, uh, that's my next job, and then we start on the shed. Okay, another milestone made. Not only did we get the maze done today, all the props that were either in my garage, in that storage dump back there, or on the patio, are now out here in the haunt. So that area, those areas are cleaned out. Nothing's been put together yet. They're just out here and the stuff's in their displays. Uh, showed you this earlier. We got the fence panels in. Morgan just brought the two pillars out that I needed. So I'm going to get in here and get this fence kind of put together. I'm going to leave one panel off so we can get stuff in and out of here. Because tomorrow we're doing the basement. That means the fireplace has got to come out. Uh, over here... We got that guy put together. He was stored in the back. Hammer and clown parts, minus the costumes and most of the pneumatics, is here. I need to get him put together so I, oh, I can get the pond to put together. That's another project for tonight. Over here, we got the arch in earlier, I showed you that last clip as well as we got the door here, out here, and we'll put that in at a later date. Here we got the uh, Leroy's coffin. We just put Leroy's coffin in there, it doesn't go on the Gypsy display. I have no idea where to put it this year. It might just go in a corner somewhere, I don't know. Uh, and then we got the uh, old stove that the teapot sets on. Over here in the pirate, we got my uh, pneumatic pirate that stands up. The uh, sword case, and that's where I put in that crate of swords. And then we got the oars. Over here, we still got the uh, tanks that go on the video pumping station. I haven't done anything with those yet, and I probably won't for a while. In here is all the parts of that new dragon prop I built this year. Over here in the chain hall, we added nothing to the chain hall. The stocks have been in here for about a week now. Over here, however, in the water wall room, we got the parts to the fountain in. And we got the two ammo cases in. Mind you, this is all stuff that was, stuff that was in the shed. In uh, the spider, I, if I remember right, we didn't do anything, but we got the mechs in a couple of days ago. Including the attack spider base. Over here... We got the candelabra in. I, I gotta get it centered yet. 
Got to get the skulls on and get it set up. I'll do that when I'm doing the photo hallway. Over here in the mausoleum, Morgan brought my little pillars out. And I'm not sure if we're going to put one of Mike Allen's coffins in there again this year or not. And then the mechs and stuff were in here for a while. Uh, we brought my crypt out. Runs off of a uh, windshield wiper motor. The lid opens and shuts. And we're back over to the gypsy display. That's the full circuit. And now I'm tired. <laughs> I've been tired before I did that walkthrough. But, you know, we like the worst part about bringing all that stuff out, though there wasn't all that much, really. Oh, actually there was. But you had to walk the maze to get it to its spot. You know, and after you made five or six trips through carrying stuff and trying not to ding walls, you get wore out. But anyway, uh, Swan's getting ready to start dinner. I think I'm going to grab my drill and my screws and we're going to go over and start on the fencing in the uh, witch display, get that up. And then uh, we've got the uh, pond for the hammer and clown, which means I have to put the hammer and clown mech somewhat together, you know, so I can have room to put the pond in. So. Those are our two projects we've got to work on now. Well, folks, last, or next to the last segment of the day. Still got the wrap-up to do. But it's after 9. I have no idea how far after 9 o'clock. But we're done for the day. And we're over in the witch. You'll, I got two panels set up there. And then I got an 8-foot panel, which runs from this wall down to that pillar. And we left it down because we got to start moving props in tomorrow. Uh, we got over here. And I just finished running the uh, fence line down the garden to keep the kids out of the bushes. And yes, uh, when we first opened up, we had kids trying to duck into the arborvitae so they can jump out and scare people. <laughs> Caused some uh, accidents. That was back when we first opened. Ever since, we put the fencing up to keep the kids out. Uh, so we got that in, uh, we got the fencing in on the jack-in-the-box, and I had to put a spline here. I didn't want to use one of my foam pillars here, uh, so I just took a 2x2 two two and ran it down to the cement and attached the fence, and the whole thing was wiggling in and out. So uh, I put the spline on there, and that stiffened it up. Needs to be painted, though. And then we get over here into the hammer and clown room, and it is also finished. It's ready for its liner, it's ready for the water, it's hammer, it's costuming, and all that. So with that, the maze is now 100% done. And we are in full prop mode as in as of tomorrow. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get things shut down, packed up, put away. Stay tuned for your end of the day wrap-up. Welcome to your end of the day wrap-up. I know what's going through your mind. Oh, shit, there's more? Really? <laughs> hey, it's habit doing these end of the day wrap-ups. I just rehash everything you just saw. Uh, I'm going to make it a little simpler tonight. Condensed version, hopefully. Sorry, nose is running. Uh, as I said last segment, the maze is now 100% done. Uh, everything has had partition walls, been skinned, been braced, and all the fencing is up. Except for where I took it down so we can get props in. <laughs> uh... There is still some light construction to happen, which I can't do to after some of the props go in. The uh, photo hall, for example, sits right underneath the eave of the house. If it rains, people are going to get drenched. And we have one corner that puddles up really bad. Uh, we had a mini swimming pool in there last year when we were open due to rain. So uh, once we get all the props and stuff installed, I've got enough plywood, I can cover the majority of that photo hallway with plywood. That will divert the runoff to someplace else to cause problems, hopefully. 
and I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, depending on when we get to installing the uh, stuff in the photo hallway is when I will do the plywood. Could be tomorrow, could be a week from now. Who knows? Don't know when I'll be doing the photo hallway. Uh, we also got some other props like the butler which sits out by the entrance and uh, George the uh, skeleton, talking skeleton, that sits over in the exit. Uh, I always put a piece of plywood up over the top of them as well and I'll do that when I install them. You know, so some uh, light construction. But, uh, let's see, what was it, three days ago, four days ago? In the vlog, I said my goal was to have the maze 100% complete by Sunday night so we could start moving props in on Monday. Well, I not only met my goal, we jumped ahead a little bit. Uh, all the props I, I had stored in my shop, on the patio, and out the storage dump are out in the hunt. Uh, we got a couple of them put together, like the exit arch uh, from the mausoleum. It's in place and assembled. And it actually... Eh, it's not showing up very good. But it actually looked, you know, it's not showing up very well on camera, but sitting here looking at it, it looks really nice with that gypsy panel up there. <laughs> but, uh... We got that up. Uh, I went ahead and put the uh, jack in, a cage for the jack in the box and the mech together on that. Uh, so, you know, that's for the most part set up. I can't put the front of the cage on until Sue Ann gets costuming on, and she won't be doing that until after I get all the airlines and stuff hooked up, which is still a week or so out. Two weeks, possibly. It depends on how long it takes me to go through and set up all the displays on my end of it. The, uh, did the same thing with the hammer and clown. Uh, I got the mech and, mech and the pond put together. Uh, so I need to do costuming, lining, water, you know, control boards, what have you. Uh, but just about every display has something in it that needs to be set up or put together. <laughs> so, uh, starting tomorrow, uh, we're in full-blown prop mode. On the docket for tomorrow is the basement. I've got the fireplace, which goes in the witch, the animated ship's wheel that goes in the pirate. Those need to be... Come blah, 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 blah. Untie my tongue here. Those need to be brought up. Uh, I've got three huge light boxes downstairs that go in the photo hallway. I gotta get them out into their place. I've got the Iron Maiden and all sorts of stuff down there. Uh, all that stuff is coming out into the lawn. Uh, get those placed in their places, not mounted and you know for show and ready to go. But at least get them into their places, and then when I get to those displays, I can install them. Uh, once that's done, I'm going to start grabbing tubs out of the, uh, our spare bedroom. And we're going to bring out one tub at a time. Or one type of tub. And what I mean by type is, like, the pirate display, all the stuff that goes in the pirate displays, is in two or three tubs. So when I get ready to do the pirate display, I'll bring all two or three of the tubs out. You know, and we'll work on the pirate. Uh, you know, so we're, we're just going to start doing that. We're just going to start going display by display, getting all the props and stuff in there and what have you. And then Sue Ann can go in and start doing some of her fine detailing work. The sooner I can get the displays together, the sooner I can start doing wiring and airlines and all that. I'm shooting to get a day off here right before we open. I like to have a haunt all set and done by the 23rd. Because we have VIP night on the 24th. And then we open to the public on the 25th. Whether that's going to happen or not, I don't know. I say this every year. I want a day off before we open so I can just kind of recuperate. And every year it doesn't happen. I'm still putting stuff out on the day, day we open. Or, you know, fixing something because it's not firing right. I'm trying this year. I am really trying. Uh, anyway... 
now you have an idea of what we did today and you have an idea of what should be happening tomorrow. With that, stay spooky. Stay toxic.